I noticed when I'm playing the line, a lot of people don't have their chaining set to on. Most people just leave it set to auto. The main difference is that auto chaining will give you a prompt to activate the card effect only in response to your opponents or at the end of their turn. This also includes summoning monsters. In most scenarios, leaving your chaining on auto is perfectly fine. If you have your chaining set to on, the game will provide you with every possible instance in which you can chain a card effect. This lets you chain card effects during each one of your opponent's phases. This is one case in which it actually worked out really well for me. In this duel, I'm playing against Dragon Maid. And you can see he's starting his second turn and he's got House Dragon Maid on board. Her ability lets you special summon another Dragon Maid from your hand or graveyard during the standby phase. So normally, I wouldn't be able to chain any card effects until House Dragon Maid's effect would be activated. But in this case, I have my chaining set to on. So as soon as my opponent draws, before they even enter the standby phase, I chain my Ice Dragon's Prison letting me banish the house dragon maid before she even gets her effect off. Obviously you can tell I'm still pretty fucked here, but you get the point.